Gabriel Gauthier, hello. hello. Uh, you're the executive vice president in charge of global government and public affairs at Alcatel Lucent. Yes. And uh, you take part in a discussion about the impact of FTTH uh, on telecom industry uh, structures. So I would like to ask you, how can FTTH uh, deployment be stimulated in Europe? Um, that's a very good question. In fact, the first question is, why do we need next generation access? That is fiber uh, in the access a bit further down, be it VDSL or be it FTTH. The reason is because we are just about to have a real disruption with mobile internet. It can seem strange, and I know the theme of these co um, uh, conferences is mobile king. It's a bit strange to say that because of mobile, because of mobile internet that is going to drive with smartphones, with tablets, uh, a dramatic, a drastic increase of uh, data uh, through video, through enhancement of penetration of mobile internet, we're going to need fiber. Why? Because the spectrum is going to be too scarce and the future of mobile networks is also uh, probably little cells and fiber. Of course, fiber uh, and next generation access are also the foundation of the ICT society of tomorrow. And in this field, Europe is, as you said, lagging behind. So we need to foster and have a vision uh, in a nutshell, some areas of the world are now running ahead more rapidly than we are. Uh, new countries like China, Russia, even Eastern Europe is leapfrogging because it has no copper to fiber more rapidly than we are. The US, because it had competition, infrastructure competition of cab with cable is unfolding very rapidly. Um, and new countries like Australia, New Zealand, uh, Singapore, are deploying next generation access again with another with a vision that we can agree to or not but with a definite vision europe appears as fragmented between its different countries with history uh, varying from one country to another having made no choice as to which technology would be best suited big cable vdsl fiber and no real vision of how should that be um, driven. That's why Nili Cruz asked industry to unite in an initiative that we had the pleasure to lead, Alcatel sent with two other companies, Vivendi uh, and uh, Deutsche Telekom, to see what were the conditions um, under which this industry could be fostered in Europe. So w what should be done in Europe? Um, first of all, there should be a clear vision um, and most, most participants agreed that on, let's say, 60% of the territory, this there is going to be only room for one basic passive infrastructure. So the question is how to build it, how to foster it. And there you had little division uh, in a context, of course, where service providers see a great pressure on their revenues because of new business models coming up from over the tops, so their revenue is declining, so they know they won't be able alone to finance and invest to cover 80% of the territory. Um, there is one vision that says, yes, co-investment is needed, but we want, a certain group of, of um, actors say, we want no disruption of the model, and that's the theme of the round table. We want one actor to roll out, to have the initiative, and others to come and buy from this act. And there is another vision that can be encouraged also by uh, infrastructure funds that, there's, that say or uh, that think that um, it can be um, the, the, um, uh, the opportunity to change and to have real co-investment models uh, with various actors coming into the game and co-owning or co-rolling out the uh, networks of the future. Europe has made no choice, and for the mo no political choice at least, and has left that to the market for the moment. And uh, what is at stake? Why is it important to do something now? What is at stake is the future competitivity, um, the competitiveness of, of uh, each country um, in, um, in a context where, um, as I said, some other very active new entrants, uh, new countries are rolling out, China, Russia, um, um, Asia-Pac, um, Eastern Europe, 
um, because having to deal with six, eight megabytes has nothing to do when you, have, when you can have access to 100. Um, so the, 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 the economy, the dynamism, the employment, what is at stake is future jobs. What is at stake is um, the social welfare of um, our elderly citizens. Um, what is at stake is uh, the future of our youth. All right. Um, the, the central question of this uh, conference is, uh, will the device be king? So I want to ask you, uh, what impact has the growing uh, importance of devices for Alcatel Lucent? Um, d device puts the consumer at the center um, of uh, the choices of tomorrow's for tomorrow's networks. Um, first of all, it's the device th that is going to pull the need for bandwidth. As I said, the, today, 20% globally of mobile phones are internet-enabled. In five years, 70% of devices will be internet-enabled. And 80% and of the, what you see on the, on the devices will be video. So it's really the end user that pulls the need for bandwidth, the need for quality of service, um, and that pulls the innovation that have to take place in the network. So it impacts us because, of course, we are designing and building the networks of tomorrow, and we have to interact with a multitude, multi-screen environment, multi-devices environment. So its device is absolutely key uh, for for good interaction with our network, and for the and they are pulling the need for new investment in the networks being the core of the access, access network. So one last question. I heard that you often come to the DigiWorld Summit, so why is it important for you? Uh, I must confess I'm at the, I have been at the board of IDAT for a number of years. So um, the success of IDAT is, and uh, what it represents, the think tank, um, is for me very important. I think there is, it's a unique um, forum for people, not only French, but uh, people, but uh, IDAT has always been very international, um, with sometimes bringing in, the, it was the year of Korea, we had the year of China, um, and I think it's a unique forum, bringing people from all around the world to discuss the major issues of tomorrow, and one big question at stake is to make it even more international and I at least even more European. So I'm very dedicated to the success of this event and of IDAT in general. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.